referee Bryce Remsburg holds up the, I don't know what company this is, world title for a match between Orange Cassidy and Chris Statlander. Obviously since then they have become two of the biggest names in all of AEW. Uh, Orange Cassidy is a heel here and Chris Statlander is the baba face. And we are about to get underway here. Not your typical start to a match. Is that some honey? What is going on here? I am extremely confused. Is that a paper bag or is it a bandana? It's a bandana. Okay. Um, Orange Cassidy taking off the patented denim jacket and the t-shirt. As we are underway. Um, but are not underway, if you understand what I mean. Get on the armband, the double armband. And we should now see some wrestling between these. We have now officially rung the bell and we are underway. These are in our best of friends weren't, well they're in the best friends, but they weren't back here. Oh, sort of mirroring each other here. <laughs> Bryce Remsburg joining in in the background. All three of these competitors now in AEW. And all three of them have a big role. <laughs> Bryce Remsburg is one of the funniest referees in the world. Are we going to get the hands in the pocket? No. Ooh, are we? Are we or are we not? This is the weirdest thing I've ever called in my life. The hands are indeed in the non-existent pockets of Chris Statlander. Um, and a roll-up. Schoolboy, a one, a two, a near fall, and a two count. Sunset flip bomb, countered, which is a sit-down kick out at two. Still with the hands in the pockets for Cassidy. Clothesline brings off the glasses. Statlander picks up the glasses, puts the glasses back on Orange Cassidy to the big reaction of the crowd. Hit, Statlander hits the rope. Are we going to go for a tope? No. Cassidy rolls out of the ring. I apologise for the little advertisement thing that I got above there. Cassidy just taking it very slow on the outside. Statlander doing the same. Statlander throws Orange back into the ring. Cassidy rolls all the way out of the ring in classic Orange Cassidy style. Referee at a count of one. Is Chris Statlander going to go for a tope su and no cedar? Because Cassidy just strolling around the ring. He's going to go for another one here. No, because Cassidy is just strolling around the ring in a way only Orange Cassidy could do. Nope. Again, the tope is not available. Statlander going to something underneath the ring here. Don't really know what this could be. Bryce Rams were saying that, basically. You're not allowed to use any sort of weapons in this matchup. Cassidy still just walking around the ring at a leisurely pace. As you always would do if you're Orange Cassidy. No rush. Just having a nice chat with the people in the front rank. Not your... Typical professional wrestling contest, this one. Oh, she's got the ears. She has the ears and she has thrown a very lifeless Orange Cassidy who still continues to roll. Statlander goes with a clothesline. Nice arm drag by Statlander into the corner. Oh, did Orange Cassidy just do an arm drag without arms? Yes, he did. Sweep with a leg by Statlander. Bridged up by Orange Cassidy. Again, a reversal of that. Double kip up and we have a standoff here. Very impressive chain wrestling there. And the sunglasses are free. Wheelbarrow pin into a T. The shoulders weren't quite down there anyway. Power slam by Statlander. Goes in for a cover. One and a kick out at two. Very, very interesting matchup this. The power of Chris Statlander against the 
underrated technical ability of someone like Orange Cassidy. Some strikes in the corner don't really do much to Cassidy. Now a kick to the gut that does do something. Now Cassidy into the other corner. Shot to the head, blocked. Cassidy covering up well, using that psychology maybe. Using the psychology he has used to wind up Chris Statlander a bit. Maybe not got the offence he would have liked to have got in. Again, these clubbing blows aren't really doing much. Tries a running boot into the corner like a halluva kick. Oh, dragon screw on the bad knee of Chris Statlander. Wow. Not something you really expect from Orange Cassidy, but very, 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 very clever. Ring IQ going for a crossbody, no. Going for a diving DDT. Statlander gone for a sell, sort of spine buster, bear hug manoeuvre kick out at two. I just don't know what's going to happen with these two next. Statlander going to go for that leg drop, no. The, sp the splits leg drop, I don't know what that's called. Cassidy again stomping on that knee. Which is very, very painful as we can see for Chris Statlander. Had issues with that knee. Bryce Rams going to check in on Chris Statlander. In a very interesting contest so far. Not being the most technical match I've ever seen, but when it has been good in ring, is Cassidy going to look for a tope suicida? He connects into the front row. Uh, the crowd there getting involved in this matchup. Cassidy again going to go up top. What's he going to hit here? He's going to hit the diving DDT. He's going to go for the cover. This should be it. A one, a two. Well, he got about one and a half there by Chris Statlander. To the shock of the crowd. And to the shock of Orange Cassidy. That knee is really struggling. Chris Statlander here. Now what are we going to see him capitalise on? Kick again to the knee by Statlander. Trying to sort of do the same damage. Maybe going for a drop kick. Insecure. He ducks under. Going for an ankle lock now. Orange Cassidy gets the ankle lock. It's an unorthodox grip really. When you look at it. A roll through by Statlander. Breaks the hold. Going to go for a Michinoku driver from Orange Cassidy. One. So, kick out of one. Really struggling to put Statlander away, but switching back into that ankle lock. Really working on the ankle here. And the knee. That's going to do a lot of damage to the knee as well. Which is, I think, what Cassidy is going for to retain the World Championship here. Is Statlander going to tap? No. Cassidy really wrenching on that ankle. Putting all the pressure on that knee. Statlander gets to the ropes for the break. To the chair and... Sort of happiness of the crowd. Statlander is is out of it here. She doesn't know really what to do. Cassidy sent over the top. Are we going to see a tope by Chris Statlander? No, she can barely walk. Never mind do a tope. She's going to try and do it. No, she's not. Her knee has just buckled. The knee of Chris Statlander has just buckled. Bryce Rensberg might have to call this match. That was just... Hideous to see the knee trying to buckle a big forearm strike. Is she going to go for it again here? Or I think she's accepted that she can't. She's on the apron. Kick to the back. What's going to happen here? Another kick. What's going to happen? Moonsault! Chris Statlander has just done a moonsault off the apron with a buckled knee. I don't quite understand how someone as injured as Chris Statlander has just done that. She's not going to go up to the top. This isn't the most sensible move for someone with a knee injury at all. She's now up top. Statlander's rocked. Oh, big splash. Missed. The, oh, back to the ankle lock. Back to the ankle lock. Is Chris Statlander going to tap? She has rolled through to her belly, which is a sort of a clever way to counter the ankle lock. Doesn't have that torque on the knee. Big up kicks to Cassidy, trying to break the hold. Does break the hold in a fireman, sorry, in an electric chair position. Drops him, then he buckles again. Cassidy, blue thunder bomb. One, two, oh, kick out the last minute by Chris Statlander. This match has just really, really, really picked up. None of the silly games, none of the booping on the nose, none of the hands in the pockets. Cassidy wants to win. Statlander wants to win. Both are physically at the extremes of what they can do. Statlander really has a knee problem. Cassidy is just worn out by all his offence of Chris Statlander. Orange Cassidy to a big punch to the upper body and midriff 
of Chris Statlander. Cassidy going to go up to the ropes. On the middle rope here, Statlander sees it, gets them in another electric chair position. What's she going to go for here? Sort of just carrying him around. I think she's a bit inconclusive in what she could do. Face buster. Well, that's one simple way of doing it. Driving him into the mat. Split leg leg drop to Cassidy. This should be it. It's a one. It's a two. We have a new champion. No, we don't. Orange Cassidy kicks out just before three. At 2.9999999. What a matchup this has been. Incredible, incredible in ring action. Oh, we've had in ring action. Now, what's going to happen here? Oh, but another split leg leg drop. As Orange Cassidy's had some orange juice, I believe he has. Chris Statlander picks him up, going for a power slam. No. Oh, the knee buckled again. Oh, going for the orange juice splash. Friday Night Fever! Friday Night Fever! Friday Night Fever! Friday Night Fever! She did the Friday Night Fever! One, two, new champion! Orange Cassidy spiked on the top of his head, stacked up like a pile of oranges. And now Chris Statlander is the champion. If you enjoyed that, make sure to like, share and subscribe. I'm just starting to do commentary. So, yeah. It's probably not that good. But if you think of it, I can do anything better, please leave it in the comments below. And I'll read them and see what I can do better. Thank you, and goodbye.